StadiumDB.com presents World Cup 2026 Stadiums, Canada, USA, Mexico. The World Cup in Qatar has just ended, and we are already thinking about the next edition, which will start in less than four years' time. It will be different from the previous tournaments in several aspects, as it will be hosted by three countries for the first time in history and will feature as many as 48 national teams. The championship will be played in two stadiums in Canada, 11 in the United States and 3 in Mexico. We have been impressed by many of them and you too will be convinced of their undeniable qualities in just a moment. Before we move on to the essentials, we would like to ask you to subscribe, ring the bell and leave thumbs up. By doing so, you will support the development of our channel and the narrator's voice will be able to make your time with us more enjoyable. So join us on our journey through the stadiums of the new world. BC Place Capacity 54,500 Vancouver We start our overview from the north, which means we land in Canada. To blend in with the crowd, it is advisable to wear denim and order poutine at a local diner. The metropolis of Vancouver is the third largest urban complex in Canada, and there are as many as 180 parks within its borders. In 2010, the Winter Olympics were held here. The stadium here was originally an indoor structure with an air-supported roof, the largest in the world at the time. After the Olympics, it was closed for 16 months and underwent an extensive renovation, the main idea of which was to replace the air inflatable roof with a retractable one supported by cables. There is a similar structure at the Deutsche Bank Park in Frankfurt. Under the roof, in its central area, a huge screen is placed and the playing field is surrounded by two-story stands. BMO Field Capacity 45,500 Toronto We head west to Canada's largest city. The symbol of Toronto is the CN Tower, which measures a staggering 533 meters and for 32 years had been holding the title of the tallest freestanding structure in the world. Drake is also from the city. A two-phased redevelopment of the stadium began in 2014, bringing its capacity to 30,000 spectators, followed by the roofing of the three permanent stands. For the World Cup specifically, the venue will add 17,000 temporary seats and the stands will be able to accommodate more than 45,000 fans. Despite this, the arena in Toronto will still be the smallest at the entire championships. We are leaving hospitable Canada and heading to the USA. It is this country that the Lions' share of future championship matches will be played. All the arenas here host teams from the NFL on a daily basis, and if you want to get to know all 30, be sure to check out the NFL dedicated video on our channel. In the meantime, our tour of the States begins with Lumen Field, capacity 69,000, Seattle. It is in this harbor city that Jimi Hendrix was born, and it is also where grunge originated from. The distinctive Space Needle Observation Tower rears above Seattle. Lumenfield was built in the city's seaport district, just a few blocks from the business center. With its partially open north side, the auditorium offers views of the impressive skyscrapers. From the outside, the venue is covered in brick. Most of the stadium's seats are located in the covered stands along the pitch. The roof is held up by steel arches, which are illuminated at night. Levi's Stadium Capacity 70,909 San Francisco Bay Area we remain on the west coast, but head south to sunny California, where a venue bearing the name of the famous jeans manufacturer is located near the city by the Golden Gate Strait with its famous bridge of that name. 
The stands of the stadium in Santa Clara are divided into three main levels. However, their distribution is not even. In the north and south, the auditorium is lower to make room for the large screens. The main stand concentrates most of the most expensive seats, including 9,000 business ones and as many as 176 boxes on three levels. The stadium hosted the Super Bowl in 2016. Sophie Stadium Capacity 70,240 Los Angeles From the bay we head to the entertainment capital of the world, which is famous for… well, it would be simpler to say what is not famous for. The city is the center of the film and music industry as well as fashion. In terms of sport, it has nothing to be ashamed of, thanks to the ultra-modern Sophie Stadium located among others impressive venues. Due to the close proximity to LAX International Airport, the height of the stadium was limited, and with a capacity of over 70,000 spectators, it could only rise to a maximum of 30-35 meters. This meant that it was necessary to dig more than 30 meters into the ground to accommodate the entire planned audience. What catches the eye is the stadium's impressive roof, which has an extremely complex structure, resting on 37 columns. Beneath them hangs a record-breaking 1,000-ton panoramic screen, 109 meters long and 12 meters high. Arrowhead Stadium, capacity 76,640, Kansas City. We are leaving sunny California to head for the Midwest. In Kansas City, they boast that there are supposedly the largest number of fountains in the world, just after Rome, obviously. In addition, there is a stadium that is well-aged, but has very interesting architecture. Arrowhead has the distinctive shape of an elliptical ball with semicircular cutouts on the northwest and southeast sides, which house oval jumbotrons. No other facility looks similar. Decorated in red, three-story stands surround the beach on all sides. The stadium in Kansas City is also known as one of the loudest sports venues. Noise records have already been broken here twice. It will be interesting to find out if it can be broken at the next World Cup. AT&T Stadium Capacity 92,967 Dallas We have arrived in Texas. Dallas is a sizable industrial and financial center and an important inland port. Within the metropolitan area lies one of the most impressive stadiums in the world. It is a worthy home to what is considered the most expensive sports team in the world, the Cowboys. The venue features a monstrous retractable dome that peaks at a height of as much as 91 meters, that is more than 30 stories. Its support is provided by two arches spanning 393 meters from east to west. At the time of its opening, the stadium had a record-breaking screen and another was broken by the stadium's sliding glass gates behind the goals. The initial capacity was set at 80,000 seats, but with the possibility of quickly expanding the stands by adding temporary structures. Thanks to that, the 100,000 barrier was repeatedly broken, which made the stadium the largest fully covered in the world. NRG Stadium Capacity 72,220 Houston We remain in the Lone Star State. Houston is the largest city in Texas and home to the NASA Johnson Space Center. The city is a thriving cultural center with quarters dedicated to museums and theaters. Houston is also home to a pioneering stadium, obviously for the early 21st century. The arena is equipped with a retractable roof, a solution that was not at all common 20 years ago. 
Movable roofing elements made of membrane were placed on two 206-meter-long trusses along the pitch. When needed, the entire process of opening the roof can be done in just seven minutes. The playing field is surrounded at all sides by four level stands, which are divided along the pitch by VIP boxes. The Houston facility has hosted the Super Bowl twice. Mercedes-Benz Stadium Capacity 75,000 Atlanta We remain in the South. The state capital of Georgia has for many years been seen as the center of African-American culture, politics and business, as well as the cradle of the civil rights movement. It is also the birthplace of Martin Luther King. Atlanta's fascinating facility was inaugurated in 2017. Its most distinctive feature is its roof. The octagon-shaped dome is a unique structure worldwide using hard-to-imagine 27,500 tons of steel. The moving roof is made up of eight panels that slide in and out with astonishing ease in 12 minutes. Under the canopy there hangs a panoramic screen that uses as many as 37 million LEDs. Its total surface area is an impressive 5,793 square meters. The stadium is also known for its environmentally friendly solutions, making it the first professional venue to achieve zero emissions. Despite its short history, the facility of the NFL Atlanta Falcons has already hosted the Super Bowl, which crowned the 2019 season. Once again, we would like to encourage you to leave a comment and to like this material. We have also noticed that more than 95% of our channel viewers have not yet subscribed. With your support, our stadium project will be able to grow. Gillette Stadium, capacity 70,000, Greater Boston. We are moving to the East Coast. Boston is one of the oldest and culturally most important cities in the USA. It is also a leading educational and economic center. The local stadium is located in the small town of Foxborough, about 35 kilometers southeast of Beantown. The arena has three-tier uncovered stands along the pitch. On the north side, however, a lighthouse has been erected over the lower level of the auditorium, as well as a bridge between the stands, referring to the Longfellow Bridge in Boston. The stadium is currently undergoing upgrades, which are expected to be completed before the start of next year's NFL season. MetLife Stadium Capacity 87,157 New York The next stop on our journey is the Big Apple. Well, maybe not exactly, because the stadium is located in East Rutherford, New Jersey. New York City needs no introduction. More than 60 million people visit the city every year, and Times Square, located in the center of the city, has been described as the crossroads of the world. The stadium has three tiers of stands, which, however, were not covered due to the already enormous cost of construction. The facility is used by two clubs at the same time, Giants and Jets, so everything is split 50-50, including separate locker rooms. On match day, the aluminium louvered facades are lit up from inside in the colors of the team currently playing a game there. Lincoln Financial Field Capacity 69,328 Philadelphia We move to the city of Brotherly Love, where Rocky Balboa comes from. We all have the image before our eyes of him climbing the stairs leading to the art museum. The stadium where Eagles there stands in the southern part of the huge sport complex having the 76ers basketball arena on the west side and the Phillies baseball stadium on the north. The facility has three-tiered stands offering nearly 70,000 seats, which can be expanded in the future. The venue, which opened in early 2000s, underwent its first major upgrade in 2013. 
In addition to extra staircases, it featured up to 11,000 solar panels, mainly on the south facade and roof, as well as 14 wind turbines behind the gates, making the facility environmentally friendly. Hard Rock Stadium Capacity 67,518 Miami We are moving to Florida. The Vice City Sport is called the cruise capital of the world because it receives the most private traffic and cruise liners on the globe each year. The stadium was built in the 1980s and has gained a spectacular roof in the past decade. Its structure is independent of the rest of the stadium, supported by eight large pillars. Towering over the hall are four slender spires, each more than 100 meters high. Earlier, the stands lost their corners and the lower part of the auditorium was rebuilt to bring the fans closer to the events on the pitch. The entire investment cost a staggering $550 million. As a result of the redevelopment, the capacity of the venue was significantly reduced by around 10,000 seats. Instead, four enormous screens were installed. We depart from the USA, rich in beautiful stadiums, for the third host of the next World Cup. Mexico welcomes us with hot weather and an amazingly colorful culture. The first stadium we will visit is the Estadio BBVA, capacity 53,460, Monterrey. Known as the City of Mountains and the Sultana del Norte, meaning Sultan of the North, Monterrey is a modern industrial center and an important point of Mexico's business map. Aesthetically, the stadium is a mix of interesting connotations associated with Monterrey. The extensive use of aluminium sheeting on the façade is meant to refer to the city's metallurgical traditions. The sheet metal and shape are also meant to evoke the beer vats for which Monterey is known. The stands are separated into two large levels punctuated by a huge number of box seats. The southern part of the auditorium is smaller than the others, revealing to the thousands of spectators the view of the Cerro de la Silla mountain. Estadio Akron, capacity 48,071, Guadalajara. The city is home to many keystones of Mexican culture, including mariachi, tequila and peria. It's hard to imagine something more associated with the country, isn't it? They've got a pretty good stadium too. The unique feature of the arena is the artificial hill that has covered the back of the stands. Cast in placed concrete slabs covered some 70,000 square meters of grass. The idea of the VFO architects was to integrate the facility into the dynamic landscape, which they did precisely by turning it into another hill, or rather a volcano, as the crater formed by the red stands is covered by a delicately white cloud, that is, a roof set on 16 supports. Azteca Stadium, capacity 87,523. Mexico City. The final stop on our journey is the country's capital and one of the world's largest cities. Mexico City is located at an altitude of 2,240 meters above sea level. Among the many attractions, one of the most interesting places in the capital is the Zocalo Square, covering 46,800 square meters and being one of the largest in the world. Mexico's national stadium has a very rich history and is one of the most important arenas in world sport. It hosted the two World Cups in 1970 and in 1986, and their finals, as well as many other sporting events, such as the 1968 Olympic Games and the 1999 FIFA Confederations Cup, and countless matches of the Mexican national team. Gianni Infantino has called Azteca the Cathedral of Football. 
and it is impossible to deny his point, as it is a monumental venue whose scale can be overwhelming. To bring the arena up to FIFA's requirements, it will undergo a series of upgrade works before the tournament begins. This marks the final venue in our presentation of the 2026 World Cup stadiums. Not bad, is it? Make sure to let us know in the comments section which stadium you like best, or perhaps the organizers left out some marinas that were more deserving of hosting the World Cup. Thanks and see you in the new year!